Hi everyone and welcome to the Warmer Podcast. We're your hosts, Jack and Dan. Today we're going to be talking about the true cost of Warmer 40k. Yeah, re- how much does it actually cost to yeah. build a 2k list and all the things that you need to go with that, you know, to actually play Warhammer as, as it's meant to be played yeah. is a lot more expensive than, than I think either of us realised. Uh, yeah, yeah, because obviously we always shop, you know, elsewhere to kind of get those cheaper discounts, which we'll get onto later on. Mm. But this is primarily if you were to purchase everything from Games Workshop directly, how much would it realistically cost? Yes. And it's... Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll not give too much away because yeah. uh, I think we've got a nice little uh, thing later on. But yes, it's uh, it's an interesting topic. Yes. Before we move on, uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe. All those good things. They're all free and they all really help the channel. So yes. we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we do. Thank you. Um, but yeah, let's get a dive into it. Why are we making this video? Then? So, you know, it's I think it's, it's interesting to know, especially from someone who's maybe getting recently into the hobby. Mm. Realistically, it's good to know. And also it's a bit like you look at your own models and you're like, Actually, hold on. <laughs> how much do I? How much am I sitting on here? Like this yeah. pile of money, kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like, is it expensive? You know, should you get into it? How can you get into it? You know, we're going to talk about it as well. Like, where can you get this stuff cheaper? Yeah. So stick around. We'll let you know about that as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's I mean, the, the Warhammer store is rightly where most of our hobby journeys begin. When you're coming into the hobby, yeah. that's where you go because yeah. you don't know any better. No. But it's also the most expensive place to buy 40k by quite a margin. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah. So we wanted to look at how much it's going to cost to get started. Yeah. And there's a bit of fun beforehand. Um, you can play, play along at home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a guess about how much it costs mm. um, to buy a full 2,000 point army from GW, including all the minis, rules, paints and terrains. So we've got three options here. Do you want to run through them? Uh, certainly. So the f- uh, option A, it's like a it's like deal, not deal, no deal. Yeah, it's like yeah. a, uh, what's it, millionaire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the, the little yeah. questions above. So uh, three of them. So A... Uh, £379.25. pence. B, £879.25. Or C, £1,379.25. Crikey. Put your comments below yeah. before you continue. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see where, where, where it goes. Um, but I guess, should we just get started then? Yes. Yeah, Getting so- started in the 40... 40- Forty k. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we started with a two k list, obviously, because that's yeah. uh, that's the way you meant to play forty k. Yeah, um, we looked at to include all the minis mm-hmm. and try to buy bundles where possible. So, can you get a combat patrol? Um, we we chose Necrons for obvious reasons. So, we also looked at getting the Royal Court in there because that's a cheaper bundle as well. Yeah, um, and then on top of the the actual minis, what else do you need? You need mm-hmm. the paints, glue, snips. Maybe magnets. magnets I, I, whacked is a good on, I whacked in on there because yeah. there's an like imperial guard out there that have variants in weapons. Yeah. And, you know, as a, a good hobbyist, you might want to switch them out. So yeah, it's a very good point. There. Optional, should we say. Optional. Yeah. But you, you, def- you also probably definitely need a filer and some yeah. brushes. Um, again, there's there's some options with paints. You can get some of this stuff in the paints. That's a quite good value, aren't yeah, they? They are. But I guess the another issue that you have with that one is that your paint, your I mean, especially when you look at the paint set, you might only need about three of them, four yeah, of them from yeah. that list. So you might be like paying for the value for money is good to get these sets, but you're still going to need to buy more paints. Yeah. So do you really want to pay more for a better value, but then add up on top of the values it's, outside of it? It's, it's very it's that situational depending on what the paints are and, and what faction you're painting. Yeah. So if you are a starter set army, then the paint sets will, will be the right ones for you, I it, guess. Well. Yeah, it's very true. It's probably um, worth mentioning again, these are all Citadel paints because again, we're yeah. getting them. Or everything that we're talking about is from Games Workshop directly, yes. nothing else. And then on top of that, rules. You need mm. your rules, you need yep. your codexes, you need your app, you need your cards. Yeah. Um, you made a good point here that sometimes you can you can get a codex. Yeah, so there was that recent Tau box that came out mm. with the Crute inside of it that gave the codex in there as well. Yes. So the, the you used to do, I don't actually, they don't, they don't do that quite often as far as I'm aware. It's, it's quite it's, unique. It's becoming a little bit more popular. The Blood Angels one has, and the Dark Angels ones have got the codex in the battle. Yep. You can get them. Um, He's done the Votan, yeah. which, which crashed when that first came out. <laughs> yeah, the Votan. In, yeah. I think the Votan was one of the first ones I can remember in ninth yeah. where they, had, they put the codex in the box yeah. with the minis. But again, these are op- options here, but yeah. um, for, for our purposes, we're looking at doing them separately. Yes, correct. Um, so we'll look at how much it cost. It's... It's crazy. It's, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it surprised me how yes. much money it was, yeah. So is this is this going to be the answer to the question that we've just done before? It will be, won't it? 
Uh, yes, yes, it so is. It'll um, be interesting to see if who's again. You've got the, the final to see the final last few moments to put your comments below to see what you're going to guess. Well, this is actually I don't know how we've done this, but this is actually a different um, mm-hmm. um, number to the ones that we gave out. <laughs> 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 so it's slightly off. Um, That's fine. We'll do yeah. that. It, it, it's obvious which one it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we're slightly off on our calculations. But well, well I, I, I know why. It's because we haven't factored in uh, terrain into these calculations. That's why. Oh, so, yes. right. Okay. So no bear in mind, yeah. So hold hold your guesses until the end. Oh, well, this is how much it costs for to but to get the models, the paints, and the material, and the building materials, and then yeah. the rules. But it doesn't include things like terrain. It's probably a good shout though because realistically, do you need terrain? Possibly not. Well, we'll come on to that. Yeah. 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 So do you, want, do you want to cover these costs first? Okay. Then? So um, looking at a Necron list, um, we'll come on to what was in the list, but we think this is a reasonably typical Necron list. Yeah. Um, fairly mm-hmm. vanilla in the middle of the road. 2K of Necrons to buy these directly from Games Workshop. With with buying Combat Patrols and the Royal Court, etc. it still came to a £562.50. Um, it's so yeah. sad. Yeah. That it's 2K yeah. list. And again, the reason why we chose Necrons, I mean, we're a Necron channel we we, we yeah. like it where but realistically necrons are being pushed quite a lot because um you know yeah. they've got the space marines the indominus i think indominus box yeah so ninth, ninth we were the poster boys with mm-hmm. of the edition weren't we so yeah. and uh, made us a popular faction yeah. and still remain one yeah. st- exactly so we've, we didn't want to choose space marines because they are the poster child yeah. tyranids are the ones from this edition yeah um, which could be another valid one but we actually did some quick math on some other um armies that we're that we'll talk about later mm. and realistically it's going to be this roughly the same yeah. from what we initially thought i i think um you can box clever but realistically i think you're looking at an average of between 450 and 550 probably yeah. somewhere around there so this is it, the top end of average but it's not um this is not us janking the figures up to no. go like oh look how expensive this yeah. is this is a reasonable list it, like a reason and I, these are the these do you want to do do break down the the list real fast yeah go, i'll go for it so um i've included two combat patrols the combat patrol in each combat patrol you get 10 warriors yep. three scarabs yep an Overlord, um, a Doomstalker, which is great. Yeah. Three Scorpex and a Plasma Sight. So initially, that's a that's a that's a pretty solid deal yeah, to be not honest. Bad. So two hundred quid to get a double of you know twos of twos of all those. Yeah. It's not a bad. Which place you can all field as well. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, some combat patrols suffer from getting like a unique character. Yeah. And, and then you're like, ah, oh, yeah. Well, I can't field that that guy in there. So again, you've got to balance that. But again, that combat patrol is looking good. Good. I've whacked in um, again you're trying to keep things simple here. So we're doubling up on something. So we're whacked in a couple of chronomancers. Yeah. Uh, Luminor Zeras, um, because we're going quite in battle line heavy here, and he had he, he's very good with that. Yep. Five immortals. Another twenty warriors, uh, and then two units of five death marks each, mm-hmm. and then one unit of two locust heavy destroyers, just to give us yeah. a bit of extra punch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's um, if you're buying all that direct from GW, you're coming to five hundred sixty-two pound fifty. Yeah. If you weren't buying those in the combat patrols, you're looking at north of seven hundred quid, I think. So, um, so yeah, those combat patrols do yeah are handy. And again, yeah. we, we've chose this list because this is a. Quite an all-rounder, I would say. It's not like yeah. tailored to a specific thingy. This one would kind of slot in in most of the yes. attachments. These are units are, yeah. that are relatively you know, easy to build, easy to play. Um, I forgot the Royal Court in there as well. Mm-hmm. That comes with a... This is good value. It comes with a Reanimator, a Plasmancer, yeah. a Scorpec Lord, and two Crypto Thralls. Yeah. And it's only £77.50. Exactly. I say only. But, you know, that's <laughs> it's a lot better than buying them individually. It, 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 yeah. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. Again, you're probably looking at about north of 100 quid. So you, as you were saying, it's, it, it's not like a list that either of us would play. No. But for a newish player correct it's it's well this is it because like if i was to build my necron list there now my my list would be my price wise would be a lot more than that because i know what i'm looking for yeah like i love my flared ones my god (laughs) it's 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 about i think they're 32 pound 50 now 32 50 for five if if not more because of the price rise so that's five for 32 pound 50 i typically run 20 in my list yeah so again i'm looking at North. I think the 32 quid, so you're looking at what's that, £128 yeah. pound for, for 20? For 20 models. And the point allocation to those ones is very cheap as well. I think that's mm. only about, oh, t- about 180 points for yeah. both of them. Yeah, they're so, not, yeah, so you're not getting a lot of points I'm per I'm not getting pound. a lot of points for that one. Love, get, we love points per pound. We love points yeah. per pound. Big, the PPPs, exactly. But, I mean, <laughs> the pricing at GW, uh, the Warhammer shop, is also wild, right? So yeah. we've got one Locust Heavy Destroyer is 24 quid. Yeah. Uh, one Chronomancer is 26 quid. Um, five immortals or death marks is 28 quid yeah and then 10 warriors is 32 quid so like, it's it's, it, it's yeah. just like it's not I, very consistent I, I think there's been conversations in the past loads of, our dog just came in so she might try and knock the camera uh, yeah. she'll, she'll <laughs> um, but like uh, there's discussions all the time about like how do they price their models I 
don't really know when it comes to this. Like, because again, people, if you break it down, we're just, we're buying plastic. Yeah. But then on top of that, to go deeper, well, we're playing, paying the designers to design the model. Yeah. Then we're designing the, the company to take their shares of Games Workshop. We're then taking, um, and not on top of that, there's the people who print them, package them, send them. Yeah. I mean, them. the GW's margins are, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're in, it's well worth looking at their yeah. annual reporting accounts because they have to publish these figures yeah, as part do. of their um, being, a, being a listed being company, a company on the stock exchange. Yeah. Um, so you can see what their margins are and they're very high. Oh, I yeah. mean, the design cost is quite low um, mm. and I, they are definitely, it's definitely like demand pricing, I would call yeah. it. So um, I don't mean that the, the pricing shifts, but they, pray, they, they will charge you what they can get away with. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're from the high end yeah. for sure. So that, 562 quid 50 for just yes, for, that. For that. Yeah. So yeah. if anyone's chose A, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, on top of that, we tried to save money on, I mean, buying, again, we're buying Citadel paints, but yeah. um, and looking at some rattle cans and, and yeah. minimizing so the number of colors because of Necrons. Yeah. But um, how much did that come to? Uh, I've just scrolled down. Was it £143.75 yeah. total? Yeah. It's, it's, now, <laughs> that surprised me as well about how much it costs just to probably just to expand on that because I think that those paints are, we've included like the snips that you want to yes. get like those ones the yes. brushes that you need to purchase yes um, you know the basing material because again you've got, to, you've got to base your models yeah uh, you've got to get some glue yeah. that always helps when you yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've got to get glue unless you, there are pu some push to fit models yeah that's true but yeah. with, if you're going to go for a 2k list you probably can't get away with a full push to fit 2k no. list you'll have to buy the glue at some point. I would love to see some psychopath field an entire push to fit list. Yeah. That'd be quite funny, <laughs> yeah. That's a little challenge yeah. for someone to do. Yeah. Not me for God's I've got 120 uh, those Marines with the yeah. flamers or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, paints, I mean, it, it always surprises me whenever I go pick up some null oil, how much that's like four, four pound 50. It's for yeah, I think it's 75 now. Yeah, yeah. is it? Yeah. There we go. And I'll, 100% I'll spill it. Yeah. You love it, <laughs> I, don't you? I, I, yeah. I do, yeah. Look, I think someone commented, which I really found funny, where I think I was on that um, Modeling for Advantage podcast. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, I spilled my null oil on the, on oh, the sofa. Yeah. And then someone commented saying, oh, well, yeah, but the detail looks fantastic yeah. on my sofa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. It does. The recessed areas look yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 475, which is crazy. I mean, look, we've put a lot of paints in here. Um, realistically, you don't need all of these paints. You can reduce the price at this stage. Yeah, I mean, what I went for was a basic colour scheme, yes. which is like um, the Sautec one, which is your yeah. colour scheme. So it's like, it's largely metal. Uh, mine metallic. is Nylac. No, sorry, Nylac. Nylac. I beg your pardon, not Sautec. Yes, so it's largely metallic. Yep. You've got a bit of um, blue and brass or gold, gold. to make it pop yeah. and a bit of black on your weapons or whatever. Well, yeah. That's it. So we're not talking about loads. But yeah. It's, it, you can definitely do it cheaper. You can definitely We've, do it cheaper. A lot of people will do, um, you know, Lead belcher on Necrons, and then a, and then a dry brush of a of a lighter metallic silver. Does type the of trick, color, and then you're off. And, and this is where you start, you start to boil in and be like, right, what type of warmer player are you? Are yeah. you a painter? Well, you're going to want a lot more paints than this. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you just a player? All right. Well, cool. You might want to go for the free. To, if you want to mm -hmm. get in the competitive scene, you need free paints. So yeah. get the free colors. Um, are you neither, and you don't want any paints, and you want to go gray? Yeah. Great, yeah. no paint. <laughs> you still need the snips. Absolute savage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, so uh, we think again, it's like the same as with the um, the minis, it's probably about £177. Sounds expensive, but it's probably about middle of the road for all of the things you need if you buy them individually. Yeah. Um, and then that is not all because you need rules as well. Yes. Um, so, so, I mean... What's that? So that total, what, 177 for rules? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, before we move on to that, we'll break down, in terms of the painting, we'll, we should probably tell you what we've gone for. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, do you want to run through it? So I went for two cans of lead belts. You spray at 15 quid a pop each. Mm -hmm. they, you definitely need the null oil for reasons oh, just discussed. Yeah. You probably need a, a silver highlight. Um, mm -hmm. I've suggested a dark green and light green for doing cables and things like that. Yep. You need yep. black for the gun. You need a couple of colours for the shoulder pads. Um, I've suggested here like turquoise and light turquoise if we're doing nylac. That looks good. You need a gold on brass on that to make yep. it pop. You probably need a pot of lead belcher to um, cover any, like, go Mistakes, back over any mistakes. Issues, yeah. yeah. And then that's all for paints. So we're not talking about hundreds of paints. Really. No. It's quite, it's, I would, it's not quite bare minimum as we've no. just discussed, but it's not excessive. Exactly. Yeah. Um, then the other things you need are plastic glue, basing glue, basing material, uh, snips, and mold line remover. Yeah. The, the snips and the mold line remover really so, surprised me, right? These ones. Yeah. yeah. So I went to, um, on the GW, on the Warhammer website, the snips that they offer for sale there are 31 and a half quid. Um, for this? Yeah, For yeah, this? Yeah. Which is, snip, snip. That just, <laughs> like it's that crazy. seems a lot of money. And the mold like, liner remover is 15 and a half quid. Right. And that's, you know, that seems, like, you can get those in paint sets. So again, yeah. look, look for that. 
Because if you're getting, if you can find those in a paint set for like 30 or 40 quid, even if you only need a couple of those paints, yeah. you're saving money. Yeah, you are. You yeah. really are. But yeah, like justifying spending that in a, in a, in a, all of that in a Games Workshop shop. And this I mean, is, like, yeah. I mean, I don't want to get into like the savings there now, but I feel like I need to. But like, mm-hmm. there was snips there. I bought two of them for like a fiver. Oh, you can, some, there are so, so just, yeah. Don't buy snips from GW. Yeah, I think I think that's the vibe that we're going with. Yeah, like, yeah. we really want to highlight. Like, look, we love the hobby. I think that we want to make that clear. I love doing it. I love painting. I love building all that sort of jazz. But do I purchase everything from Games Workshop? No, 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 not at all. Um, do I buy some stuff from Games Workshop? Yes, and we'll get onto it later. Why? But realistically, you don't want to buy. Yeah, and this is what little things because you knew if you're new to the hobby, this is your first. Like one of our friends, Max, is still relatively yeah. new on his hobby journey, mm-hmm. and we've been. It's one of the things that inspired this video because we're kind of, kind of having to no disrespect to him, but kind of having to I would say wean him off is um, maybe is a bit patronising, <laughs> but offer him alternatives, isn't it? Yeah, like, like, don't don't go and buy your Chaos Knights from GW from War, the Warhammer shop. Yeah, go around the corner to an independent gaming store. Yeah. Like we've got one called Traveling Man. Yep, it'll be about fifteen percent less or twenty percent less. Yeah, you know? easily done. And when you're buying something that's one hundred and twenty quid, saving twenty quid is it's massive. Is great, yeah. Isn't it? You know, I mean, that's not just there. It's like looking at like again that we'll not tell the total yet. We're not into the, mm-hmm. the terrain aspect of them, but you know, knock off 20 percent off yeah. whatever our grand total is. Yeah, it's much better. It's much better. And then um, the third item that we just talked about rules, etc. You might yeah. wonder why is that one hundred and seventy-seven pounds. And again, we've broken that down. Mm. Um, do you want to run through these? I certainly can. So rules are free. You can get the, the call. Thank <laughs> We're making a saving. Yeah. You know, what, free for now, shall we say. Games yeah. Workshop will listen to our podcast all the time, so they might change this. <laughs> um, but yes, no. Um, so the rules are free. You can download the app. Um, you can, again, we could have put the price in there for the call rules book because yeah. you, know, you can you buy, buy it. it but-, but we decided not to because... Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. You want to just use the app. It's free. It's it's easy enough. And I will give them props. It's in a quite a nice app. Mm-hmm. Use the app. Um, but the money, this is where it comes from. The data. So you need the data sheet cards. Yeah. £15.50. The Prior Nexus mission deck, if you can get your hands on it, that yeah. is. That is £20.50 or from Games Workshop. And yeah. um, the codex itself is, is £37. If you want to go for the premium codex, you're looking at like 60 quid at that point yes. or 50 quid at that yeah, point. Yeah. Um, the Warmer Plus subscription, so I think this is a yearly subscription, yes. right? £72 for that. Um, and that is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, dice is £26. Yeah. For dice. For if you want faction specific dice, yep. 26 quid. Yep. Tape measure, £6 as well. Yeah. A bit crazy. Yeah. Um, so that, again, total comes to 177 quid. Even if you sat there and you were like, Warmer Plus sub, why do you need that? Well, if you were to take that away, you're still looking at £100. For yeah. just rules, yeah, and that's again not including the code, not including the core no. rules. And this is that's what this is all what? stuff that you actually need to play the game. You need to yeah. play again. Now, again, we always recommend. I keep mentioning it. We're not sponsored by them, but Warpedia. I yeah. keep mentioning that website. It's how I get my information for my rules and such. If I don't yeah. have the codex, every um, it's such a great free resource. Warpedia mm-hmm. has all of the um, if in you know, obviously we want you want the official stuff where you can. Yeah, but because of the cost of it, if you um, if you can't afford it all and you need, um, and you then look at Wahapedia because everything's on there. The full yeah. codexes are on there. Yeah, um, with all the, all the detachment rules, etc. Really up to date yeah, all the time. All up to date. So it's a great place to go. Yeah. So it's just like that is again like when we were when you were putting this together and you were like, oh, it's all done. Have a little look. I opened it up and I was like. Eh? Yeah. I was like, yeah. no way. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, mate. When when it comes to the unit side of things, I actually got my app up and I was like, I'm not, I don't think Dan's calculated <laughs> it wrong. I was like, I just want to have a little yeah, look. Yeah. And I looked and I was like, Jesus, he's right. Yeah. And that's how much I didn't distrust you. Just, I had to double and triple check my own maths because you're just like, this can't, it's, it feels like a, it, an awful lot, doesn't it? Again, and that's why I started, like, that's why I wanted to mention being like, well, the list that we've made isn't like, oh, you guys are going for a price heavy list. No, it's, it's generally just a, a very standard list. Yeah, if we wanted to go price heavy, you could, we could have done things like, um, like you said, flayed ones. Flayed so ones. You know, we could have leaned yeah. into some of the more expensive yeah. units uh, to buy the like cost versus points. Yeah. So, I mean, what we've just discussed there is already a lot of money. It's nearly nine hundred quid, mm-hmm. but that is assuming that you've got somewhere to play. Yeah, like if you want to play at home, you also need battle maps and terrain, yeah. basically, don't you? That, that that's again like. <laughs> It's, I guess you could argue, again, for people at home who are probably in the comments, which is an absolute valid point, mm-hmm. um, you could play at the shop. 
Yeah, you'd be I don't terrain. know. I, I've heard rumours that they don't. They're not doing games at the shops. Oh, anymore, really? At the Warhammer stores. Um, there's been uh, there's been a lot of chatter saying that because uh, I haven't been oh. in, I've been in to buy stuff and I haven't actually seen a game going on there for a long oh, time. Oh, tell me you're sure up then. I didn't realize. No, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure, but I'd like to if you do, if you know for sure, tell us in the comments. From maybe yeah. your area, if you're yeah. like from it, obviously where from Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if you're from anywhere else, let me know if it's maybe different in your area because yeah. that would be that'd be really interesting. Yeah, I've heard um, that's that's the rumor I've heard is that they're not they're not doing games anymore. That's that's crazy. Um, they're not hosting uh, games. That they're, they're more about they look like they're more set up. If you go in and look at the tables, yeah, they look more like painting areas now. Right. They've got all the paint set up on there. Mm. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, let me know please in the comments. But, I mean, obviously that you should have if you're lucky, um, you should have a club. Yeah. Um, if you live oh, in, yeah. in a decent sized town or city, have at least one club. Yeah. And if or and or a local gaming store, which probably has a games night there. Yeah, um, so those two to look at. But if you haven't, and if or haven't. if you just simply wanted to play at home, which most of us do, of course, yeah, it's convenient. This this really um, surprised me, <laughs> shocked me how how expensive this was. Again, this is all from Games Workshop. Yeah. We're not going independent yet. We'll get on it soon. Well, yeah, I but mean this right here. The, the only thing that you can't get, like, um, oh yeah, that you can't get from GW is a battle mat. They Fair. don't do the kind of rollout neoprene battle mats. They used to do the foldy cardboard. I ones. was going to say, yeah, you got that in the Indominus. Yeah, one. but they don't seem to do those anymore. I'm mm. I bought some when um, it's like when, the red one, isn't it? I yeah, yeah. There. I bought a couple. You could order them online, and I think they were like. I want to say about fifty or sixty quid, um, but they were quite for two. They were quite expensive yeah. for what for, for a bit of cardboard. Yeah, so you, <laughs> that you needed two of them to yeah. play a thousand point game. So two of them was um, like three by four, and yeah. whereas obviously you need six by four for um, for a, a, a thousand mm -hmm. point game now. Yeah, but anyway, so let's battle match sixty quid um, is the cheapest I could find on. Um, you know, you can spend more than that, but yeah. roughly it, sixty it, to eighty quid, I reckon. It, and to be honest, the only part in this entire list I'd probably only defend the battle mat. Although it's 60 quid, seems pricey, but it's actually really high quality yeah. from the ones that yeah. we typically get for 60 quid. You can yeah. get cheaper ones for sure. Yeah, you can. But, yeah. but the 60 quid one, I'd probably argue and I'd, I'd fight its corner saying that yeah. it's, it's, it's value for it, money. Isn't it? It's value for it's good value for money. It lasts a very long time. Um, I've got one folded up just under our desk here. Abused. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's abused, <laughs> but as soon as you roll it out, Flush. Yeah. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. And I, I will say that is probably one of the biggest things that enhances the game for me. When you see a nice, yeah. I mean, you, we could play on this table here, but like the orc kind of wood kind of vibe kind of throws you off. So the nice battle yeah. mat does bring the game together, I think. Yeah. Even, yeah, whether you're playing table hammer or floor hammer, if you've got, yeah. a, if you've got a battle mat, it just, it make, does make a big difference. It does make a big difference. Particularly I, I, if you've gone to the trouble, as we've just talked about, on painting all your minis. Yeah. You know. it, it's quite sad to say that the only part I'll defend in this list is something yeah. you can't purchase from <laughs> can't Games purchase Workshop. GW. Sorry, Games Workshop, yeah. but yes. But I mean, again, this is probably going to shock a lot of people because... I don't know if anyone's looked at terrain recently on Games Workshop, but Dan, you want to go over through the prices? Oh, right. So total, the headline number, and I don't think I've been excessive here, but the headline number, if you wanted to build a table full of terrain from GW, is £411.50. I'm going to break that down for you now. So I'm, I'm, what I've included here is two of the new Sanctum Administratus, which is the new two-tier ruin building. Yep. One of those with a little back piece, like corner piece, is £63.25. So I put two in there. So you're looking at 126 pound fifty for two two tiny tiny ruins. It's sad, it's, isn't yeah. it? Like <laughs> um, it's so bad. You need line of sight blocking terrain yep. for playing casual hammer. So we're not looking here. A, a full terrain tournament a terrain UTC board or... will have about a, somewhere between. I think it's about uh, uh, eight and a dozen pieces of yeah. terrain. So we've we've not gone for that. Um, I think we've got one, two, three, four. We've got six in this. Uh, sorry, eight. So we've got, you know, we're maybe it's at the bottom end of a of a terrain of yeah. a tournament list. So you've got two of those Sanctum Administratus at sixty three pounds twenty five each. I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> no, it's so bad. Um, I've gone for two of the STC Hub Bunker and Stockades, which mm -hmm. are fifty five pound each. The Hub Bunker takes up a reasonable amount of room, and then you've got you can kind of extend the footprints with the Stockades, which will help you. You know, yeah. if you and your opponent agree, their line of sight blocking or yeah. whatever that'll help. Um, Beyond that, I've gone for two of the Munitorum Armoured Containers. How much do you think uh, three Munitorum Armoured Containers are with a little bit of scatter terrain from GW, like some barrels and crates? I mean, I'm looking at it, yeah. and I still don't... No, I still don't feel real, does it? <laughs> still no. doesn't agree And I was with one of the suckers that bought one of these from them <laughs> when I was getting yeah, back oh, in there, because I loved the... I was like, oh, those containers are they great. They look good. Yeah. But I, I really want to lean down off camera to pick up the containers that we you, got 3D printed. got 3D printed, printed yeah. yeah. Um, the, the, I, I'm, I'm going to do it whilst you're still reading. So three Munitor, one set of three Munitorum armoured containers with a bit of scattered terrain is 40 quid. So we've got two of those in there as well. 
Uh, and then the last thing we've got in there is there's two Frontera sets as well, which are quite nice. There's one which is like a landing pad type thing, I think it is. And the other one is like um, like signal and comms towers. But the, um, So we've whacked a couple of those in as well, just for like a bit of variation and immersion. Yeah. So sh do you want to show uh, us the uh, containers? Sh should, we, should we show it now or should we show it when we're saying about how to... Where, uh, where yeah, else yeah, the right, still? Yeah, I was thinking, uh, keep it a so secret. So that, that's where you get your total of £411.50 from. Yeah. Again, talk to us in the comments if you think that's excessive. But I think that is like that is less than what you would get from a, a tournament terrain like, setup. I remember purchasing terrain in the past. Because again, young me, I was like, well, I don't know what else is out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're getting presents, it's like, well... I would, I mean, I'm sitting at home with my mom, you know, playing with like salt and pepper shakers yeah, in search yeah. or like, you know, plants and whatnot. Because yeah. that's that's what you do when you're, when yeah, you're, when you're first thinking of the hobby. And, uh, like Pringles yeah. cans and stuff, yeah. tins or something. So, yeah. so when I first started getting in, I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind some new terrain. And I, you know, from my, in my mind as a kid, I was like, oh, my, I was like, want the full terrain set, want like a nice big board. Mm. And if I'm birthday, I got like one box and not like selfish me, but more. Not, not knowledgeable me thinking you only bought me one box yeah like, why, why, I, I need, that one box isn't going to get me anywhere you heartless bitch yeah exactly <laughs> exactly but then you look at the prices and I'm like oh Jesus sorry yeah. man <laughs> I mean yeah I've like, said it already but I'm going to say it again but £63.25 for one corner like small corner rune piece is is obscene it's, it's just it's, it's beautiful it's, it's a lovely detailed all, piece I think that's the key part the models that and such m most of them not that's it all mm -hmm. of them, but most of them in terrain bits look amazing yeah, they yeah. Look, once you get them painted which we're not discussed yet once you get them all painted and whatnot they look incredible yes but and for for immersion like we talked about if you've got two painted armies yeah. playing on a battle map with painted terrain painted armies kiss, like yeah you look yeah. looks fantastic that's what it's all about exactly again you don't again we keep mentioning it at certain parts because i want people to think that we're saying you need to have this you don't need to have it but this is what games workshop think that you need <laughs> yeah they, they think that you're willing to pay all this money in one go to have yourself up and running for a game yeah it's it's crazy um and we whacked, on top of that we whacked on 24 and a half quid for some a few extra paints to paint sure. the terrain because you're unlikely to want to paint them the same color yeah, as your it, army and if you think about it, those little pots you've got aren't gonna yeah justify the entire, again you can probably get away with spraying them lead belcher null oil the crap out of it but yeah you need a few more null oils under there i mean to one, of, that terrain. one of the ways the gw stores often cheat with the old old ruin sets that you got in ninth and they're probably going to do it with this this new one as well is they would spray paint them white yeah. so i've included a white rattle can yeah and um, but you like you said it could be another lead belcher and yeah. then they will just shade them in something like seraphim sepia or um yeah. the new one skeleton horde Ooh. so what the contrast paints are, and that, that'll just give you that kind of nice um sort of aged like look depth and yeah, such. And yeah. Depth to it. yeah but yeah so, so you, we've not included again loads of paints you might want to no. pick out a couple of details in there so a couple of extra colors in there but 24 yeah. and a half quid is reasonable i think yeah and I, I mentioned briefly on here but like let's say this is probably why you see if you've got like a family getting in a warhammer typically mm. it's the kids <laughs> army because if you're wanting to play with your son then you need to buy two armies so yeah. that's another 500 odd quid for two armies yeah that's when it's like all right well again like again this is all from games Workshop, so please yeah. bear that in mind but that's what games Workshop expect people to pay yes so you're looking at the th you're looking at um 500 quid then uh for two armies is a thousand pounds then then you're looking at your battle yeah. set of terrain is another about 496 quid we've got here yeah. plus your paints and extras or whatever yeah you, you, you're nearly getting towards you're somewhere between 1500 and two grand aren't you which is a ridiculous amount of money exactly exactly so now at this point is it worth mentioning who the winner is of who picked uh, yes. So the total, as you can probably, if you've been playing along at home, the uh, the grand total for everything all in there is £1,379.25. pence. That's including all your army, all your paints, all your build building uh, yep. uh, materials, and all your terrain as well. And again, that's purchasing, the, purchasing, purchasing it from, it from Games Workshop yeah, directly. From the Warhammer shop or the Warhammer it, um, it, online, yeah. You know, I mean, it, <laughs> I'm struggling for words, basically, <laughs> when it comes to like the, the price of this, but like... Can you get it cheaper elsewhere? I mean, thank question. God you can. Yes. Yeah. If you couldn't, I don't think a lot of people would be in this hobby. It's like, yeah. There's um, and as you, as we've just discussed with our friend Max, you you will typically get fleeced by and uh, and uh, and I think we can use that word accurately. You would get fleeced by paying the most expensive prices. Yeah. Because you know the Warhammer store is the only place you know to go or Warhammer online. Correct. Once you find those other places, then you can start to cheap. Yeah. Up. Do you want to run through the list? So yeah, I mean, uh, one of the ways you did uh, is pick a starter set faction, which is a good. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, start, starter set faction. I mean, they they, they offer really good discounts on uh, at the moment on uh, marines and tyranids and yep. starter sets. Mm -hmm. 
That's a very good way. And most of those units are reasonably playable. Yeah. There's only really the, um, we joked about them before, but the push to fit in furnace marines are probably the only ones that are not getting a lot of play at the moment. It's not yeah, very good. That's true. But almost everything else is decent. Yeah. I mean, a couple of years back, they had like a, a very good point, uh, PPP, points mm. per pound. Yeah. <laughs> um, for um, Imperial Knights. They've yeah. done that big box area. Yeah. You got a lot of points, but for a very good yeah, price. Yeah, so they so. do it. They do they call them battle boxes now. They used to call them start collecting boxes, didn't Correct. they? Correct. Um, yeah. But the, the battle boxes are pretty good value. They yeah. are. They are. Um, and particularly if you get one, it's a new uh, launch because you'll get your codex in there as well. Yeah. Exactly. But they are they are like hen's teeth, like they'll sell out very quickly. Exactly. Um you got a place like eBay, you know, second hand armies that you can purchase off eBay. Yes. Um car boot sales that we go to. Uh Ardhammer is one of the ones that we go to yep. quite frequently every year, every it's every six months. Um, every six months, yeah. So looking forward to that again because you can just people are selling full armies which get around a lot of the pricing that we just mentioned because people are selling full armies that are painted. Yeah. So you're right, not yeah. having to purchase paints gonna save you a lot of if the paint is a reasonable standard or you're happy with that standard. Yeah. Um there's there's buy sell groups on, on WhatsApp and on yeah. Facebook Marketplace where you can get full army or, or yeah. significant discounts on, on units. Yeah. Uh, we've not even mentioned it, but you could realistically I mean there could be people out there thinking, Well, look, time is money to me. And I know that sounds silly to a lot of people, but if you're thinking about it, if you're only in it for the competitive play and you just want to play a game and you don't want to mess around with the thingy, you could sit there and work out how much you get paid your, your normal wage and in terms of how many hours it'll take you to actually it's paint. It's a really good idea. It's a really good way to think about it. And it, it seems expensive to get commission painted, but you can get it painted to a yeah. tabletop standard for a reasonable price. You could. Um, it, it, and because often these guys, um, we've done another video about this, but often um, a, a, a professional or semi-professional commission painter paints quickly to yeah. a good standard, like a lot quicker than I do. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so you know, you've got there definitely is that to factor in. Yeah. And if you look out and you buy... Typically, uh, a, an army painted to at least a good standard is probably going to still be cost less than it does from um, from the Warhammer shop to yeah. buy in boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could buy a two. Th let's say that um, as we've just discussed, let's say two thousand points of Marines is going to cost you four hundred and fifty quid. Yeah. You can probably buy a, a painted two thousand point list of Marines for four hundred and fifty quid. Yeah. Yeah. As long exactly. as you're happy with what's in that. Then yeah. You, you know. Well, then, again, even at that point, it's a good starting point. It's, it's like, a great starting like, point. Like, yeah. I'm just getting the hobby. I don't know what's good. I don't know what's bad. Yeah. That is a very good deal for an army. Tell you what, let me grab that, and then I'll then just spend the extra little bit of money grabbing it's the units how, that I fancy. It's how I really got into Necrons. Mm -hmm. My son and I split the starter set because he um, back in ninth edition because he wanted to uh, play the Space Marines. Obviously, and yeah. who doesn't when you're a teenage boy? Yeah. To, um, almost almost all teenage boys want to play the Marines. <laughs> so I ended up with the Necrons, and I'm like, well, I've never really played Necrons, and and I looked because I knew I looked yeah. online, found somebody that painted to a pretty good standard, yeah. 180 quid um, that got me like. N nearly 1500 points I think something like that and I was yeah. like happy days it's great yeah, yeah. I've I done the same very similar thing to my uh, tunits I was like right I want to start a tunit army someone sell them for like 200 quid which look, sounds pricey mm. but based on the points I got if you looked at the, the math with a like, games workshop it was like close to like 400 quid yeah so 50% savings yeah massive it's, saving. Big, it's big um, it's probably worth mentioning I, I don't know what it was in the document that we're talking about but you know we're talking about like how to save money and going mm. back to the terrain feature because I'm still holding this and I feel like I'm, 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 oh, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm waiting too long for the, the show the big this. reveal but yeah. like <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean, the terrain, like 400 odd quid. What are you holding under the table? Well, really? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't everyone like to know? Who? <laughs> Sorry. I'll That's my only you. fans I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> but yeah, so terrain, I mean, you made a very good point. Terrain itself was 411 pound. Yeah, yeah. You could almost buy a 3D printer yeah. for that price. Yeah. Um, which is crazy. And then a 3D printer can do stuff like this. Yes. This. So that is um, that, a very like, acceptable yeah. um, Munitorum armed container nice equivalent. And yeah, that's probably, like, you're probably looking on, at a couple of quid in resin if yeah. that's. But yeah, that there, because then again, it's just, again, I mean, I'm looking on camera, it looks very nice. Yeah, it does. Like it's it's crazy how good that looks. Yeah. And is it better than Games Workshop? I would argue, depending on the, 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 the model that you find online, yes. You can get a lot better models online from Games yeah. Workshop. I Although I will praise, they are very good. The, the ones you can um, get. There is loads and loads of um, of terrain, like the the buildings in particular. Like we were talking about that um, that ruin, two story ruin that GW yeah. sells for sixty three quid. You can you could get um, almost a table's worth of those ruins for sixty three mm -hmm. quid from three yeah. D printing. Yep. Yeah. Now I asked a couple of three D printers, and their ballpark is usually 
about 50% to 60% of GW retail price. If, yeah. if that's that's a professional, like somebody that makes mm. money from it. Yeah. If you've got a really good friend like we have, thank you, Dan. Thank you very much. Um, that will they'll, they'll print them at mates rates for you, yeah. then you can get you can get them for a lot less. Yeah, because most people that have a free to print, I just like printing. <laughs> They've got it to print. Dan Dan printed me um old school ruins um uh, in ninth edition, and I reckon I probably paid probably less than 50 quid for a tables full of terrain. Yeah. Like containers, yeah. ruins, all the stuff, crates, all the mm -hmm. things you need. There's a very good artist, which I, I, I beg upon. I don't know the name of that Dan has been speaking to uh, quite frequently because one of the other issues that you've got with terrain specifically is that it takes up so much space. Yes. Like I'm talking like with the big models that we've, that we've just listed, that's a lot of space. It's oh, yeah. quite big. There's um, a very good uh, 3D model list. Uh, I might try and find the name. I'll, I'll send across put in the description. It's worth shouting out. Mm -hmm. If you, he has made 3D printed terrain that is foldable. Oh, wow, yeah. It is a game changer yeah. because like at the end, I mean, if you look at that, that's quite, you know, quite sturdy. And, you know, I've got like eight of these. So, yeah. you know, stacking them up is quite, quite high. Um, Getting the foldable terrain is 60 quid, and that is for a full table width. Wow. So comparing it against one Sanctum yeah, thingy, yeah. that's 62 free pound. I'm already saving so much money. Yeah. That is a full table worth and is foldable, so I'm saving on space and money. That's it's just brilliant. a much better deal. Yeah. Now, obviously, you have to have it accessible to a 3D printer. So yeah, I mean, it does uh, add we, up the cost, we could be blase and say that you could buy a 3D printer, a good 3D printer for less than the amount of terrain yeah. um, that we were talking from, you could buy from UW, but you need other things to print 3D printing. Yeah. It's not easy. It's certainly not kid-friendly. It's you, very involving true. toxic chemicals and stuff like that. So. You've got to be careful. Yes. Yeah. But if you, it's, if you have uh, somebody at your club um, or when yeah. your friend circle will most likely have one of these, yeah. it can probably help you out. And even if you don't have one in your friend group, honestly, like... I mean, if we didn't have Dan, I would have just said, look, can we just put a pool of money together? Yeah. Each chip in a little bit of money towards it. Fundamentally, we can then print whatever we like. I mean, we've printed Necron models because again, you're not restricted to terrain when you get 3D printer. You can then print models. Yeah. I, I remember yeah. Da Dan bought, uh, Dan 3D printed his entire 2K list of orcs. Yeah, his before, initial orc list, yeah. Before he, he took the plunge into Warhammer because he was like, well, I don't know if I like it. So he actually bought a 3D printer to print all the terrain, yeah. to print all of his units, to save him a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. And he then was like, oh, you know, I actually like it. So I'll actually purchase a couple of models from Games Workshop. Because I think it's worth saying, are we saying to never purchase anything from Games Workshop? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, like, we're not, realistically, because... I mean, fundamentally, they do good models and it's a hobby that I like. So if I go to Warmer World, I probably will drop a little bit of money there. Of course, um, yeah. You know, if I go to like special events that do like commemorative models, I will purchase them because, you know, it's, a, it's like, a, for me, it's like, oh, this model I got from, like, I mean, I've got models from uh, Warmer Fest Yes. I love talking about them because I'm like, oh, this got this from Warmerfest. It's a conversation it's starter. It's a souvenir as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a, remember, a, remind, a reminder of the good times that you had exactly. at Warmerfest. Exactly. Even, and apart from the queues. <laughs> and <laughs> nearly Q getting thrown out by a security guard. Yeah, that, <laughs> that wasn't fun for me. No, no. Um, but like, what I'm saying is that like, look, there's 3D printers, there's, there's alternatives out there yeah. to get it cheaper. Don't think Games Workshop is the final stop because yes. it's not. Yes. And, I mean, you can, uh, if you go to a... Um, an independent gaming store, you're probably looking at about 15 to 20% discount mm. on what GW does. Uh, if you go to um, secondhand market, you're looking at 30 to 40% off. Easily, yeah. Um, 3D printing, you're probably looking at 50% at off. Um, yeah. If you buy it and, and more, if you get mates rates from your pals. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously, you know, if you, if you can... Um, buy um if you can build your own terrain for example or print 3d print your own terrain you're also saving on that yeah. side of it as well yeah so you can do this if but the, the issue is the knowledge isn't it is not knowing that when you get into it, the hobby exactly yeah. the initial like whoa this is yeah. a lot of money kind yeah. of thing it, it does hit and you and because it's so. incremental because you're going you know when you start off you're like right i've got this and then i'll build this and paint this what yeah. do i need next and that's kind of you can that's part of the fun of the journey when you start off yes but if you're in a hurry like us and you want to get to 2k as quick as possible then yeah, yeah well, don't don't do it with GW. Well, yeah, because again, I mean, imagine like, you know, obviously we are quite established in terms of what armies we have. If we have a new friend coming at the hobby and we're like, oh, hey, have you got 600 quid? Right, you know, don't don't play with me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? But like, it's like, you, like, you could easily get that money down is the, is the yeah. key thing. And, you know, that's, probably, that's probably where we're probably finished off. Final thoughts for me, I think I'd be more worried if a, if a robber comes in <laughs> and get steals into my house and they're looking at the TV. If they're an inexper if they're an inexperienced robber and they look at a TV or some plastic figures, they're gonna take my crap TV. That, that's probably yeah, worth 50 yeah. quid right now. If a if a robber that was into Warhammer and saw my collection, I'd be a lot more worried. <laughs> 
I mean, I've, I've seen um, posts on social media about this where somebody has said, like, please look out for this army. Somebody stole this army in a case from, like, off a train or... See, that's... It, yeah. You know, um, and then nine times out of ten, there'll be a follow-up post where they say uh, it's been found in a skip nearby because whoever's stolen it has yeah. gone, oh, this doesn't look worth very much. Yeah, pl plastic <laughs> models. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know yeah. where to, you know, they don't yeah. know where to fence it or whatever. Yeah. But it's, um, yeah, it's terrifying. Like, the builders we've got in at the moment uh, doing some pointing on the brickwork and they left the garage open right. or I left the garage open for them and then forgot to close it. it's probably fairer but that's got like all of my terrain a bunch yeah. of all my pile of shame is yeah. in there there's probably like hundreds and hundreds of pounds it's crazy yeah and it's like it is scary sometimes because you're like I mean obviously we traveled down um uh, down south recently yeah and it was like we were we were discussing on the train like oh like what's the best way of keeping them safe like mm -hmm. I was talking about like taping up my box but yeah, like yeah. but then realistically if someone opens up the box and just sees some plastic men they're like fucking nerd yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> close the box and just yeah. leave it um but you do have to be careful we're in travel you do and i think um my final thoughts on this is like i think it feels a lot like gw's business model is based on customer ignorance yeah like it's based on you not like uh, their business model feels like we're going to try and squeeze as much out of you until you realize there are cheaper places to go yeah. which is what most people do yeah. at some point during the hobby journey there are yeah. very few people that we know who only will will only buy from GW and, and want one hundred percent official yeah. official stuff. Yeah, which is fair, and that's um, fair. If that's what yeah, you want. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, we're not against that. No, no, no. We're not saying don't purchase from Games Workshop. No, no, definitely we're not, not. We're not saying to um, always purchase from Games Workshop. But what we're saying is just look. The hobby is expensive. We want as many people in it as possible. Yes. So please just find the what's right for you. Um, yeah, absolutely. And um, and if you are somebody that's watching this video and is new to Warhammer, hopefully that's giving you some yeah. pointers about some of the. It's, some of the ways that you can yeah. you can get into it in a much more cost effective way. That's it. We're not we're not trying to put people off the hobby. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to just highlight the areas where you could be better. I think. Well, I I have this bee in my bonnet that I still think that there are a lot of people who get start make an honest start into this. Yeah. And then it, it's this um, this yeah but scenario. So you're like yeah but you've got this but that's not enough to play a game. So you need yeah. this. Yeah, but you've got that, but you still and, need this. And so, and eventually some yeah. people just go, fuck this, this is too, this is just yeah. too much time and money. I can't be asked. I may need the money, you know. Yeah, and I don't disagree with them. Yeah. <laughs> you know but what it, I, mean? I, I like, just feel like if more people knew earlier on that there are these alternatives, yes. particularly around the 3D printing or the secondhand market, then yeah. you'd be like, ah, and now this makes a lot more sense. Yeah. You know, it's, it's more justifiable. It, exactly, exactly. And I'm not saying to, to prime the ones who have crap codexes, but when a new codex drops and maybe you want to fancy a new army, if it's a crap codex, expect some eBay listings <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of some uh, of some yeah. models. But yeah, I think that's Good. kind of yeah. I think that's it really. So yeah, I well, hope you enjoyed that. Um, let us know in the comments um, as always if you think that we've been a bit excessive on the pricing mm -hmm. there, or if you or if you've got other hints and tips for ways to do it on the cheap that we've missed. We'd love to hear those as well. Yeah. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching, and we'll be back soon. Thanks so much.